So I'm very pleased to be uh, here tonight speaking with you. Uh, my name is Neil Hammerschlag, and I'm a marine biologist at the University of Miami. And I study these toothy friends of mine, sharks. And when I say sharks to most people, the first thing that tends to come to mind is Jaws. And Jaws came out as a movie in the summer of 1975. It scared people out of the water then, and it's been scaring people out of the water ever since. That's most people's relationship with sharks. Mine is, is slightly more hands-on. Uh, on any given weekend, you can find me in the Florida Keys catching sharks, like this magnificent bull shark, putting satellite tags in them, giving them a quick checkup with the doctor, and then releasing them back into the ocean. And I certainly love my job. But I also like spending time in the water with these magnificent animals. In fact, I clearly remember the first time that I got in the water with a huge tiger shark, the largest predatory shark in tropical seas. Uh, it was about 10 years ago, it was in the Bahamas, and we just finished a great day of diving. I was on a boat, I was actually in the shower, soap in my hair, lathering it up, and I heard someone yell, tiger shark! So I did what anyone here would do, especially in the back row. I immediately jumped out of the shower, put on my wetsuit, grabbed my mask, fins, snorkel, and my camera, and jumped right into the ocean. And as soon as the bubbles started to, to fade away to the blue, I saw this massive tiger shark moving towards me. And as I braced down for the shot, and you can see me in the picture, I'm, I'm posed, I'm ready to get the shot, this animal started coming in closer. I, I swear to you, its head was this big. It started coming in closer, 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 it got so close that it couldn't see me because its eyes on the other side. So it turned to the side, looked at me, turned back, opened its mouth about that wide. I was looking at it, closed, turned to the other side, circled me three times, swam away. I lifted my head out of the water and yelled to everyone on the boat in words I can't say right now. And they, they yelled back and I could see the dorsal fin of the shark coming back. So I got back in the water, braced myself, and in came this big shark. His head was this big came in, turned to me, looked to the side, opened its mouth wide, closed it, looked again, circled me again three times and swam away. And I got back up on the boat and I was extremely excited about it. I remember, like, like you telling my mom, and she was thinking, Oi vey, Neil, what are you doing? <laughs> but honestly, I wasn't scared. It was an amazing experience because I, I felt like that animal was, was checking me out. Um, and we kind of had this mutual curiosity thing going. So, you know, I can certainly go on talking about, about my experiences in, uh, in the water with sharks, but, you know, I'm a numbers guy, I'm a scientist, so I like to talk numbers. 75, that's a number where sharks tend to get a bad reputation from. 75 is the number of people that were bitten by sharks last year. In comparison, this number is a lot bigger. 1,600 is the number of people that are bitten by people in New York City in one year. <laughs> so, not a lie, not a lie. That's why I take my chances with the sharks, okay? Because going to New York City is dangerous. So, um, here's another number, 12. It's a much smaller number. 12 is the number of, of human fatalities that result from a shark last year. In comparison, this number is way bigger. 73 million. Let me say that again. 73 million. That is the number of sharks that are killed every single year. Over 73 million. Where most of these animals end up, where are these sharks going? The answer is in soup. Shark fin soup has no color, no taste, no smell. It needs to be flavored with, with pork or chicken broth. It's a, it's a status symbol in many Asian cultures, primarily consumed in China. Shark fins are used, the cartilage is used to make the soup. And because shark fins are so valuable and shark meat is, is worth very little, in most cases, the sharks are brought towards the boat in the ocean, their fins are hacked off, and then the rest of the mutilated animals thrown back into the water, wasted. 
it's hard to really understand the scope of, of this issue. This picture here was taken in one market in Taiwan. There's over 35,000 drying shark fins here. That's just in one market in one place. And you might think this is a foreign problem, but this is helping, happening globally. In fact, US is one of the top 15 countries in the world that export shark fins out, and we certainly import them back in. So this, this is a, a problem. Why should we care? Well, sharks are apex predators in the ecosystem. They play a very important role. Studies have shown that when you remove the apex predators from the ecosystem, there can be a trickle-down effect, a cascading effect to other organisms. For one thing, sharks like to eat the diseased, the dead, the dying, and the dumb fish. They literally weed out the ocean of, of the unhealthy fish. <laughs> so why else should we care? Well, I'm going to give you another reason that I think sharks should be taken off the menu that's a little closer to home. And that's this long word up here, which I'll call BMA. BMA is a neurotoxin linked with neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, dementia, and ALS. Working with my colleagues at the University of Miami's medical school, we found that shark fins here contain high levels of BMAA. And the take-home message is, is those people who consume shark fin are putting themselves at risk of getting these neurological diseases like Alzheimer's. Why else should we care? Looking at this picture, I remember when I took it, and I was just in awe. So besides the, the ecological reasons or the health reasons, uh, I'm telling you that conserving sharks, it's more than that. I think they add beauty to the oceans, mystery, and diversity. And I think an ocean without sharks is a much more boring place. And as I conclude my talk, I ask you to at least go home and tell at least 10 friends or family about what you've heard today, because education is really important and awareness. I also ask you to please go check out our website, sharktagging.com, and that I can give you, through there I can give you ways to stay involved, if you want to get involved in action alerts, sign petitions, or just keep updated on marine conservation news. And with that, I thank you very much for uh, taking the time to listen to me. Thank you.